Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the finale for my Partners in Cream project pan. I am currently working on three items in this project, although I've been working on five throughout the year. But if you watched my last update, I decided to roll out two of the products I hit my goal on and not replace them because we only had one month left of this uh, project. So I'm going to go through the three items I still have in this project. But before I do so, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. But let's just jump into the video. So before I actually start talking about the products, um, I do want to let you guys know that this project will start again on the 10th of January. I haven't decided if I want to join it next year yet. Um, I'm rethinking what product pants I want to do next year. And I also rethinking what items I want to pan because I've actually panned quite a few of the items in my collection. Some categories are getting quite low. So I'm not quite sure if I want to do this next year or not. But do let me know down below if it is a project you want to see from me next year um, or if you want me to try something else. But um, yeah, I'm just going to jump into the first item. So the first item I have is my Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Smoldering Satin. I rolled this in last month actually and my goal with this was to use it 10 times. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to meet that goal in the last month because sometimes it's really hard for me to reach for eyeshadows like this. Especially since I'm panning so many this year. Um, but I, I'm happy to say that I actually used this the 10th time today. In today's look, it's quite a subtly used. I'm actually using this on my lower lash line right here, which is one of the ways I reach for this. Um, I used this as a top of shade quite a few times as well, but I think probably like at least three or four times I did use it on my lower lash line like I am today. And I just really like the sparkle that it gives and it was an easy way to use this because it didn't really interfere with all of the other lid shades that I was working on in the past month um, and I can use both in conjunction with each other. So I really enjoy this glitter um, it is getting quite low as you can see hopefully in there um, you can definitely see the use um, it is also a little bit dry but it's not as dry as my diamond dust glitter and glow which I was working on early in the year for the majority of this project so this might actually be something that I pan next year just to get as much use out of it before it goes bad um, but yeah it's definitely getting a little bit drier so that's something to keep in mind but I did enjoy it the 10 times I did use it over the past month the next item I have is my Cover FX Concealer. I have mine in the shade uh, G Light 1. Um, this one I have used 16 times in the past month, which isn't super high, but I realized halfway through the month that since we are in winter now and I'm quite pale, um, I'm using a paler foundation as well. This is actually a little bit too deep for me in front of my eyes. Um, I think it would match me pretty well on my face, however, I feel like this is just like one shade or like half a shade deeper than uh, the foundation I'm currently using um, and it just looked a bit off when I was using this under my eyes which is where I like using this and of course I could have used this um, on my face or even as a foundation but I do really like this concealer and I don't want to force myself to use it up. It's also relatively new to my collection. I did, I mean, it's not super new, but um, I haven't had it for um, a super long time. It's not my oldest concealer. Um, and yeah, I just feel like I'd rather save this until like spring and summer again where this will suit me. Uh, and because of that, I decided halfway through the month not to try to finish this up. And also, I don't think I could finish this. Although there is definitely windows showing, like when I swirl the wand around, and um, I can feel that it's getting lighter. So um, it's not... I can actually look into it. It's not that much left in here. Um, so I think maybe working on this for another two months will probably finish it. But I, like I said, wasn't really in the mood to finish it right now because I'd rather work on it next year. So that is my uh, Coverfix Power Play Concealer. And again, like I said, this is something you'll probably see in one of my projects next year. Then the final product that I had in this project is my Rebel Lipstick by MAC. Um, I've had this in now for two months and my goal with this was to finish it. I'm wearing this today um, and as you can see since I'm wearing it today, I have not finished it. I mean, I could have finished it in this look, but yeah. I mean, if you saw my last update, you probably understand why I didn't finish it because I had still quite a lot left and it is quite an intense lip color, so it's not a nude that I can wear every single day, if that makes sense. However, I did actually use this 43 times in the past month. Not all of those were on my lips. Um, I did use it on my lips quite a lot as well. I would probably say like at least 20 or 25 uses out of those were on my lips. Um, I did use this 
quite a few days throughout the month even though it is a really bold shade because I was really determined to get as much use out of this lipstick as possible uh, but the other ones were actually as a cream blush I am wearing this as a cream blush today um, I used it underneath my foundation and then I used used my foundation to kind of blend over it a little bit and make it like melt into my skin because obviously this is a super super bright lipstick I mean you can see it on my lips as well but um, I just use a tiny bit of it on my cheeks so obviously then I don't use too too much product but at least I was still getting use out of it um, and then I just blend it up with a brush and then I like I said I blend it in with my foundation on the top I'm not using a full cover foundation so it doesn't cover it completely um, and then I set with powder and then I use a, a tiny bit of a powder blush on top used to kind of like get the full effect so that's what I'm doing today for my blush and obviously as well I'm wearing it on my lips so um, this is how much I have left of the lipstick now I don't have too much left of it actually I used quite a lot in the past month and I'm gonna go ahead and show you my purpose lines so here you have my MAC Rebel lipstick and um, you can see that that was how much I used in the first month and this is how much I've used in the second month so I definitely improved and I used a lot more this past month than I have um, in the first month and I feel like if I would have used this as much as I did in the uh, second month, the first month, I might have had a better chance of finishing it, but even then, um, I feel like I would have probably needed at least, I might have been able to finish it in another month, um, but I think realistically it probably would have taken another two months to finish this. Um, I haven't decided if I want to continue working on this right now, or if I want to save it. Um, this lipstick is getting quite old, um, and I really wanted to finish it this year because of that. But part of me is like, should I save this? Because it is honestly like a really autumnal shade and we are into winter now. And if I want to wear a bold lip right now, I would ideally want to go for maybe like a red or something like that. Because I feel like that's more uh, wintry. Um, although I know this lip really suits me and I do really love this tone of lipstick on me. But I might want to save this for next autumn and I definitely know I can finish it then. So I'm, I haven't decided yet. I mean, I can definitely continue using it as a cream blush. But again, since it's quite a lot left and um, this that would probably just using it exclusively as a cream blush would take probably three or four months because i don't use very much on my cheeks compared to on my lips so we'll see what happens with this lipstick um i did use about half of what i had originally uh, in the two months that i was working on it so yeah we'll, we'll just have to see i haven't decided yet but at least for now i'm proud of the use i did actually get out of this so since i was only working on those three products that is it for my finale for my partners in cream please please go and check out steph and dalin down below if you haven't already i know dalin isn't really posting right now because she is pregnant if you didn't know and she also moved back to the states so i know she's had a lot of things going on in her life but please go and check out her channel anyway and obviously steph is a wonderful wonderful person and i love watching her videos uh, so go and check out her as well and obviously as well the playlist with everyone else who is participating in this project so yeah let me know what you feel about this project next year i have really loved taking part of this project i just feel like a project exclusively working on cream products might not be the right thing for me uh, because the only like I, I don't have too many foundations left in my collection, I don't have too many concealers left in my collection. So that would mainly be like, um, maybe like a cream blush and lipsticks that I would work on in this project. Um, like again, primers and things like that, I don't have too many either. Um, I mean, I could always do this project with like just three products, but again, I kind of like having at least five products in each project. So I just haven't decided what I want to do yet, so let me know down below. I'm thinking about doing a different project, maybe just focusing on lipsticks uh, instead of this. Uh, and obviously then it would be kind of like cream products, you know what I mean? So I feel like then because I'm trying to do a lipstick product plan next year, I wouldn't really be able to incorporate lipsticks into this project, which is also another big part of why I'm thinking about not participating next year. But if you are on YouTube or Instagram, please consider joining next year. It's been so much fun being part of this project. So yeah, that is it for today. I really hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.